Wii Play. The Wii game that nobody actually knows. Well, I don't remember the game as Wii Play. Uh, I would actually call it Wii Tanks, because that's the only good mini game on Wii Play. And by good, I mean, oh my god, I love it. But yeah, I don't have a Wii anymore. So in this video, I will make my own crappy version of Wii Tanks. To make Wii Tanks, we need a tank, which can shoot. So we take a square and put another square on top. And then you have a tank. Wow. Oh, and by the way, I know Wii Tanks is in 3D, but you know, uh, I'm stupid and lazy, so uh, shut. To shoot, uh, we want the tank to know where our cursor is. So we make the shooter on top follow our cursor. Or at least that, that's, what, that's what we want, because what the fuck is this? But after fixing it, adding some movement to the tank and added shooting, it actually looks kind of like a tank. One of the fun things was the bullet bouncing, which is pretty easy in Unity. Um, you just add some bounciness to the object and boom, easy as that. There are also some blocks that can break if you hit them, which is also pretty cool. And we now have enemy tanks, wow. But they don't actually do anything yet. Because now they look at you. Oh my god, I know. Oh and yeah, your bullets will break after bouncing once. Because otherwise it would be kind of chaotic. As you can see. To make the enemy tank shoot bullets, we need to let them think a bit. Which was really hard. Because they're stupid. Just like me. Uh, I... I I don't even know what they're trying to do here. Because I don't want to work on the enemies, I did some other stuff, like adding a shit ton of post-processing effects. Yeah, but the game was not really fun yet. There were just some tanks looking at me, which is intimidating but not fun. So, we need to make them move. Introducing the tank that moves. Yeah, it just moves between two points, it, it's really not that interesting. But I can make it go really fast. I also added a main menu and the level select to choose which level you want to play. And the settings menu, which I hate to make. So it will have to wait until I want to do it. And a quit button. What would happen if I click on it? Uh, I want to make 21 levels uh, total, uh, but I'm missing something. A smart tank? No, 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 of course not. But I do have a stupid tank that moves in your direction. And he's a tiny bit overpowered. So now we have everything to make all the levels, but it's kind of silent. Again, there are no sound effects and there's no music. Before I demonstrate my music, I just want to say that I will never be able to top the masterpiece soundtrack of Wii Tanks, because, you know, that's, that's great. I did try to make a catchy loop for the game, which we'll change later probably, because that's what I always do. And I also added some sound effects. To make this all work, we need an audio manager, which I already made in my last video, so that's pretty useful. And then it was time to make the levels. But for the last level, I want to do something special. So I was thinking, what about a tank? But it's big. And then we give the tank some attacks. And then we have the final boss. Oh my god. Well, after I fix all the bugs, that is. <laughs> because it doesn't look right. Oh, yeah, and I've made some music for the boss. Pretty cool. Uh, 
uh, but the boss battle is kinda unfair because you immediately die after one hit so now you have three lives oh and if you die the game just stops so now there's a game over screen and the rage quit button just to make you feel bad for quitting the game oh and remember when i said i would change the music <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's right now actually Adding this music to the game and all the levels being done makes the game pretty fun actually. Uh, the only thing that needs to be done is some polishing, such as unlocking levels, adding better visuals to the game uh, and to the boss battle, and adding screen shake, because that makes the game always better for some reason. And finally making a settings menu. But now that's done and the game is finished, I think. I I I'm pretty proud of it actually. It was a really fun project to work on and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you want to play the game, that, that's possible. Um, yeah, link in the description below. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a like, of course. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.